Hi, I'm Jackie O'Fee from Signature Star, and you would have noticed that scarves are everywhere at the moment. But how do you wear them? Beyond that typical pashmina knot thing. So I'm here to show you a few ways that you can wear your scarves today. Now sometimes you don't want such a bulky scarf because you're sort of perhaps going out to a cafe or meeting some girls for lunch and don't want all of that bulk around your neck. So little silk scarves are also a gorgeous way to pep up just a plain little top or t-shirt. And what you can do with a simple one like this is just, as we started with, you can sort of start with something this simple. You can also, um, I quite like doing it, and I call it my ear hostess look really, um, where you take it right up to your neck and actually just tie a bow. Because if you've got one that's short enough and fine enough, what you end up with is a really cute little pop of colour just at your neck. So it kind of replaces a necklace or anything like that and it's just really, really sweet. Now this scarf, because it is so sheer and doesn't have a whole lot of bulk, can do that really easily. But you can even get smaller ones than this one, which is really little, really fine. And what you can do with that is just use it almost as a choker. Now, keep in mind you need a decent length of your neck, actually, if I could just go over the top of your ear. And I'm just going to tie a little bow in the back because it gets rid of those long ends. Tuck it under your hair. We'll just have that little bow sitting there just at your back, at the nape of your neck, which is quite sexy. And then if you just turn around and face the front mirror, it's just that nice little choker happening here. That's great underneath a shirt or just with a t-shirt, but it just gives you a little bit of Short, really. And the other thing to think about, as I said, you need a decent length of your neck. You won't be able to do that if you've got a short neck, I'm sorry, or you'll look like you're sort of choking yourself. So be aware of that. But that's a really sweet way to just jazz something up a little bit. Now, most of you will have a scarf like that in your wardrobe, or if you don't, you'll have access to one, perhaps in Nana's wardrobe. So one of the ways to do this one is to fold it on a diagonal, so you've got that sort of triangular shape. And then actually start with that in the front, so you've got the points coming down through the front there. Turn it around behind you just to twist at the back there and just bring these pieces through and sit them on top of that. So you're sort of creating that little cowgirl kind of look. Now the way to stop that being too nannery is about the scarf. So if you have yourself a funky little scarf like this animal print one we've got here, that's going to keep it kind of relevant and fresh. If you're doing it with an Hermes scarf, for example, you really are working quite a classic possibly older style, but that sort of thing keeps it nice and fun. So keep your scarf young and it'll keep young for you. Now another way you can wear your big square scarf, again taking it to that diagonal, so you've got point to point. And the reason you go to a diagonal is because it gives you length. And then just sort of fold it up so you've got length happening through here. And all you're wanting to do with this is, you know, just dress up a plain top, a singlet top in summer or whatever. So just bring it down and tie this in, just a bow, but kind of low, so it's sitting at your bust or just below it. And that just will add a little something to a t-shirt or a singlet top, and it just makes it a little pop of colour. So another way you can wear a longer scarf like this, and this is a particularly spectacular one with gorgeous, gorgeous lyrics through it, is just to bring it through. And then if you have sort of a, a nice bangle or something like that, you could actually thread it through a bangle. Now I've got one of these really clever little things that you may have seen out there, which is actually all magnets. So it sort of works bank on itself and you can loop it on itself. But what it works with really well in here is that you can actually wrap it around your scarf. And it works particularly well with the scarf because the colours work. So if you choose a scarf that then works perhaps with your silver bangle or something like that, and then you can actually play and just have a little, almost like a, a tie through there. And then you can move that up or down to wherever you want. And you've got sort of that more classic sort of evening -y look. So have a bit of fun with some bangles, or maybe you've got a fun hair tie or something like that. It has to work, it has to look like you're not using a hair tie. Now scarves don't have to be all about your neck. You can actually wear them around your hair as a hair accessory, and that'll really add to your outfit. So this one here is kind of gorgeous because it's got some beading, so it actually has a little bit of weight to it. But if you take it through, depending on your face shape where you want to put it, but I think for mirror it works best actually to still have some of her hair framing her face. So you need to actually hold that quite still and quite, and I'm really conscious not to pull her head off, 
Then you start tying a knot, and then you can just take both pieces over the front either side of you, and you've got this lovely thing happening here and then continuing down through here. Or another way to wear that is perhaps to take it just to the one side. Something to think about too is when you have two lines coming down through here, that adds width to your body. So actually taking it to one side can be much more flattering because you can't compare one side to the other. So that's a really nice way to wear a scarf. And particularly good if you don't have really good neck, but you can actually just get some elongation coming through this way with this pop of something going on in your hair. So hopefully now I've demystified scarves a little for you and shown you that they can really just add a bit of punch to your outfit. So whether you're wearing just a plain shirt or even a t-shirt, you can actually make it something quite special just with that scarf. So go out and grab yourself some, play around in front of your mirror and have a bit of fun with it. Uh, it's been really great talking to you. Remember, I'm Jackie O'Fee from Signature Style and I'd love to meet you sometime.